Module 3. Qualitative Techniques on Research Writing Qualitative research technique QLR usually prepared and finished based on what you see, photos, interview, observation, phenomenon, human life experiences, etc. that are occurred in reality. Many believe that the end result can be subjective because of the way of how result can be achieved. But for me, it depends on how you will prepare your qualitative research design. Your critical thinking skills is needed to adapt the needs of QLR design. Objective of the QLR may vary with the questions why, what, where, when, and so many how. The objectivity of the questionnaires will be based on how the researcher want to know. A coding technique will be used in this design. Actually, your quantitative research design can also be used as qualitative research design. The difference will be the manner on how you will get the information. QLR can be subjective because inner feelings or emotion of both the researcher and respondent will affect the result of the research. Who is qualitative researcher? According to Crotty, 1998, qualitative researcher seeks to understand the content or setting of the participant through visiting this context and gathering information personally. They also interpret what they find, an interpretation shaped by the researcher's own experiences and background. What is qualitative research? According to Miles and Huberman, 1994, qualitative research includes any information that can be captured that is not numerical in figure, the soul that gives meaning to every experiences. According to John Creswell, 2014, qualitative research is an approach for exploring and understanding the meaning of individual or groups ascribed to a social or human problem. The process of research involves emerging questions and procedures, data typically collected in the participant setting, data analysis, inductively building from particulars to general themes, and the researcher making interpretation of the meaning of the data. According to Dr. John Creswell, 2014, on his lecture, qualitative research is an inquiry approach in which the inquirer explores a central phenomenon or one key concept, asks participants broad general questions, collects detailed views of participants in the form of words or images. According to Dr. John Creswell, page 58 of 2002, qualitative research is an inquiry approach in which the inquirer analyzes the codes, the data for description and themes, interprets the meaning of the information, drawing a personal reflection and past research, and writes the final report that includes personal biases and a flexible structure. According to Jones and Burlett, 2012, citing Lincoln and Gubao, 1985, a qualitative research is a natural setting, it is intuitive, it is used as a human instrument, and it is a emergent design. According to Trachim 2006, there's a criteria for judging a research quality from a more qualitative perspective. Traditional criteria for judging qualitative and for judging quali quantitative research. For the quantitative research, we have internal validity and for the qualitative, it's more on credibility. For the quantitative research, we have external validity and for qualitative, it is more on transferability. On quantitative research, it's more on reliability, but on qualitative, it's more on dependability. In quantitative research, it's more on objectivity, and in qualitative research, it's more on confirmability. Let's see the difference between internal validity of quantitative research and credibility of qualitative research. As you see on the sample, let's see the difference between the external validity of quantitative research and transferability of qualitative research. See the example of quantitative research on reliability and qualitative research on dependability. Let's see the difference between quantitative research on objectivity and confirmability of qualitative research. According to Sapori Mbaleka 2019, on his book, Student Advising to Qualitative Research, Fear No More, there are 10 qualitative research design. The first one is case study. The, the, number two is phenomenology. Number three is the Delphi technique. 
Number four is the narrative inquiry. Number five is the action research. Number six is ethnography. Number seven is appreciative inquiry. Number eight is photo voice. Number nine is critical research. And number ten is grounded theory. What is case study? According to Lichman, 2013, on page 90, case study is an in-depth examination of a particular case or several cases used to explore a case in depth. A case can be an individual, a process, an institution, an organization, a program, or a unified system that you want to understand in detail. Phenomology According to Lichman, 2013, page 83, phenomology aims to describe and understand the essence of life experiences of individuals who have experienced a particular phenomenon. Usually, it involves affective, emotional, and intense human life experiences. Next is the Delphi Technique according to Hanalin, 2004, on page 4. Delphi Technique is a research approach used to gain consensus through a series of round questionnaire survey, usually two or three, where information and results are fed back to the panel members between each round. This technique is usually used when there is a limited expert in the field. Narrative inquiry, according to Joseph, 2015, and Riesman, 2008, narrative inquiry is a QLR design used to explore upon an individual's life story in depth. Actually, a narrative inquiry is a biography that includes data interpretation and mostly achieved through observation and critical interview. According to Sapori Mbaleka on his student advising on qualitative research book on 2019, action research is primarily a practice based used primarily by practitioners to improve their own professional field. According to Mertler, 2014, page 4, it is a systematic inquiry conducted by teachers, administrators, counselors, or others with vested interest in the teaching and learning process or environment for the purpose of gathering information about how their particular school operate, how they teach, and how their students learn. According to Lichman, 2013, page 72, ethnography is used to describe the culture and social interaction of a particular group or subgroups it involves extensive immersion in a natural setting. Ethno or ethnic means you can study the culture of indigenous people, barangay, country, etc. You can do this by means of interacting to them in order to get what you want to know, the way and means of their culture. Mostly, it will take years to get the best result. According to Copywriter and Whitney 2005, page 7, Appreciative Inquiry, Main goal is to recognize the best in people or the world around us, affirming past and present strength, success, and potential to perceive those things that give life, healthy, vitality, experience to living system. Actually, the aim of this QLR is to find the best practices and use them to give up getting the strength of an organization, institution, company, or group of people. And that's appreciative inquiry. According to Sapari W. M. Baleka, Student Advising in Qualitative Research, 2019, page 30, Photo Voice is the newest design in QLR. It is used when the researcher wishes to empower marginalized people. Actually, Photo Voice speaks for itself and helps the researcher to observe, interview, and get the present meaning of their life experiences. According to Maryam, 2009, page 24, Critical Research, is used to critic and challenge to transform and empower people who are under exploration. The aim of this QLR is to focus on challenging the status quo in order to change people, systems, or social. According to Sapri W. Mbaleka on his book, Student Advising on Qualitative Research, 2019, page 30, Grounded Theory is one of the most respected QLR design when it comes to dissertation writing. This is because the end result of the grounded theory study is a complete theory. Not necessarily for undergraduate students, most complete, critical, and comprehensive QLR. Okay guys, you need to do this. So, this is an assignment per group. So, you need to interview stakeholders of Cavite State University, Imus Campus, regarding the assessment of gender development. So, you are assigned to interview at least two stakeholders. 
So, stakeholder can be faculty, guard, students, admin officer, nurse, store helper, license worker, etc. that are working and or studying in Cavite State University. This is the end of Module 3, Qualitative Techniques on Research Writing. I hope you learned something from me.